A lot of students find it difficult when confronted with a drama text in an exam that they haven't seen before. And so if you're watching this video, you'll be a student who has to do a close reading of a drama text in an exam, or you're a student who struggles to find things to say about unseen drama text. This video is going to make reference to the Literature ATAR course for the West Australian Curriculum and the Literature ATAR examination than its marking key. So let's get started by thinking about the marking key itself and understanding where our marks come from. This is the distribution of marks for the close reading section of the 2017 Literature ATAR exam. You'll see that readings of text is worth seven marks, use of evidence six marks, literary concepts and terms six marks, and expression of ideas get six marks. The thing I want to draw your attention to throughout this is the actual reading of text is only worth seven marks, even though it is the central skill. And so what I want to put to you is that even if your reading is a bit off or not entirely correct for the lack of a better word, it doesn't, it's not a deal breaker. You can still score really well so long as you advance the reading. And that's actually something a lot of students don't do. They retell the text rather than producing a reading. So let's start with some surface level questions that can help us get to this reading for a drama text that we haven't seen before. And I always encourage students not to dive straight into the detail, but to step back from a text and look at it as a whole. And so start by looking at the action of the scene. What's happening in the scene? Where and when is it happening? And who's involved in the scene? These are really straightforward questions that if you just relax and read the text and start by thinking it there, uh, you could really see your way through it. Then think about genre. Is the play realistic? Uh, is the acting presentational or representational? We're starting to see more of that uh, in exams now. Presentational theatre is something like the Laramie Project, where you have uh, just a few actors playing a range of characters speaking directly to the audience, and sometimes perhaps even involving the audience, or representational theatre, which is m uh, most of the theatre you're probably used to, where the audience is just there to watch the action on the stage, and it represents uh, some version of the real world. Does the scene involve sets or props? So what kind of genre are we looking at here, and what's the action? Just start from the surface there then we can get a little bit deeper. Now the way to, uh, in order to develop a reading, you've really got to understand what one is. Um, some of the definitions can be unhelpful for a lot of students. I like to think of a reading as simply a conversation about ideas or literary concepts that the text encourages you to have. So a drama text can encourage you to have conversations about things in the real world, relationships, ideas, or it can encourage you to have conversations about the nature of drama itself. And that's what a reading is. What are the conversations that this text wants you to have? And in order to do that, one thing I think is really helpful is to find the tension in the scene that you're looking at. Tensions related to conflict, but they're not the same thing. You can almost use them interchangeably, but there is a difference. Conflict drives action and provides the tension. And dramatic techniques will be revealed once you find the tension in a scene. And there is always tension in the scene, whether it's within the character himself or herself, tension between characters, a character trying to achieve some kind of goal, or to get to the bottom of some kind of problem. If you can get to that, then you can get to a conversation you can have around the text. So let's start by looking at um, the drama text from the 2017 paper. The text there is very small. You can access that online. Um, and But what I want to do is focus on the strategies here for decoding it. And so if we start with the action from this piece, uh, this extract from Red by John Logan, if we start looking at the action, it's a great painter talks about art and life to a young man. It's set in his apartment in New York and involves an, the old artist Mark Rothko and a young man, Ken. That's really all that happens in this. Now the genre. We're talking about is it, uh, realism, is it, what's the staging? Well, the play is realistic. It is representing the real world. The acting's representational, although the fourth wall is broken in an interesting way. Costumes revealed and the set, uh, costuming is revealed and the setting is an artist's studio. 
When I say costumes revealed, it means that there are directions in there about costuming specifically. There are a few props, um, but the audience itself is a prop to some extent. So let's now extend here and dig into the tension. The tension in the scene comes from Rothko's frustration that Ken and the world cannot really appreciate art. With this, we, that, with this knowledge, we can then analyze the construction of the scene, especially the dialogue and the use of lighting to signal a shift midway through. The use of the audience as a kind of prop makes, this, makes sense when we identify the tension. By that, he's talking about the world itself and their lack of appreciation or understanding of art, and he's looking at the audience, and he's talking about them as well. It's a really interesting strategy here used by John Logan. So how do we move from tension to meaning? Well, we can build a whole reading around the tension by looking at the implications of the tension. Here we can interpret the text in more than one way. It's about meaning of art itself, its personal and social significance. Or we can talk about the text as being about the shallowness of modern society, especially when he says everyone likes everything. And we can even talk about generational conflict here between the young aspiring artist Ken and Mark Rothko. And this all comes out of that one bit of tension of Mark Rothko being frustrated at society's lack of understanding about art. And there's a whole lot we can talk about. So let me just reiterate and break this down what we were just talking about. Start by looking at what's happening, where and amongst whom. What features of genre stand out? What is the tension in the scene? How does the tension relate to ideas? And how is the tension developed through dramatic techniques? Those five things you can produce a reading for just about any dramatic text. And so, by identifying the tension, you can develop an interpretation of the underlying meaning. Once you have a reading, you can then set about showing how the construction of the scene develops that meaning. And for revision, the best thing you can do is prepare by ensuring you've got an understanding of key concepts and terms for drama so that you've, you can go and look at those techniques once you've identified the tension. I hope that simplifies the process of decoding an unseen drama text. Um, I, haven't, I didn't go into complete detail on the red piece, but that wasn't the point of this. The point was to give you a strategy that you can do so that time and again you can find your way to a reading and then be able to develop an interpretation.